Dark Secret revealed, BitBoy just exposed XRP manipulation. Shockingly, institutional conspiracy revealed. Ripple responds to new complaint from SEC on alleged manipulation of XRP. The SEC has filed a letter in opposition to Ripple's motion to compel the agency to provide clear answers to its interrogatories. Today we're going to talk all about what BitBoy just exposed about XRP manipulation. So watch the video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to XRP Vault, your daily dose of XRP. If you're interested in everything around XRP, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the XRP news, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the crypto world. Make sure to hit the like button for us to provide you with more XRP news. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Before we get to our topic, let's take a look at the chart and see what the price of XRP is doing on the 10th of December, shall we? Ripple price prediction remains neutral as it tosses with a narrow range. For instance, the breach below $1 was a big blow for the bulls, and it will take time to recover. At the time of writing, the bears appeared fatigued, and it seemed doubtful that the price will hit a lower low in the near future. Since the December 4th crash, XRP has reached higher lows, indicating that the downtrend has ended. As the price consolidates, volume remains modest after the drop. This might last until the bulls and bears recover from the recent turbulence. The daily RSI is attempting to exit the oversold zone, 30, and it is now at 28 points. If there is a reversal and it moves back over 30 points, XRP may break the primary resistance. Although the MACD remains negative, the histogram is making higher lows. This is positive, and if it continues, the price may eventually rise. XRP's current bias is neutral. Therefore, the price may continue to consolidate between the main support and resistance levels for some time before attempting a breakout. Now, let's get back to the topic. Ripple's top lawyer is responding to the release of an amended court complaint filed by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The SEC, which asserts XRP is a security and alleges Ripple illegally sold the digital asset without proper clearance, filed the amended complaint on Thursday. The document adds more details on the role that the SEC claims Ripple executives Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson had in selling XRP to institutional investors. Larson and Garlinghouse both played significant roles in negotiating and approving Ripple's institutional sales and other offers and sales of XRP to institutional investors, including while Garlinghouse was COO. The SEC alleges Garlinghouse sold portions of his XRP portfolio while claiming he was very long on XRP and claims he and Larson adjusted sales targets depending on the price of the digital asset. Despite the modifications in the SEC's latest filing, Ripple General Counsel Stuart Alderodi says the SEC's 79-page case against Ripple remains centered on a simple question. As many of you have seen, the SEC filed an amended complaint. The only legal claim remains, did certain distributions of XRP constitute an investment contract? Disappointing, the SEC needed to try to fix their complaint after waiting years to bring it in the first place. Alderodi has also said that the SEC's case, which describes the company's XRP remittance product, acknowledges XRP's use as fuel for cross-border payments, showing the asset is unique and has utility. BitBoy Crypto also revealed all this information in his recent video. The SEC has filed a letter in opposition to Ripple's motion to compel the agency to provide clear answers to its interrogatories. The plaintiff argued the defendants have waited until the end of fact discovery, more than seven weeks after receiving the SEC's first interrogatory responses, to inform the SEC they consider the responses deficient. The SEC claims it has supplemented five of the responses at issue, met and conferred, and asked defendants to identify what specific information they still required. Defendants refused, and instead filed the motion less than three hours before fact discovery closed. The agency further added it has substantively answered the interrogatories at issue, as required by the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure and the Court's recent guidance that a party need not catalog every fact or piece of evidence so long as it identifies representative samples and provides meaningful disclosure. Defendants' argument here boils down to a complaint that they do not like the answers they receive to the interrogatories at issue, in large part because the SEC's and defendants' interpretation of the applicable law differs. But the SEC is not required to answer the interrogatories in a way that adopts defendants' incorrect reading of the law. The party's dispute as to the correct application of the controlling legal standards should be resolved by Judge Torres at summary judgment, not on a motion to compel interrogatory responses, the plaintiff wrote in a letter. 
Ripple's interrogatories are aimed at identifying the SEC's theory of how the Howey test applies to virtually all of the defendant's transactions in XRP over the last eight years. The creator of the XRP ledger filed its motion to compel slightly after the extensively covered telephone conference, which was resulted in the judge being unhappy with the SEC's arguments and ordering an in-camera review of the documents in which the SEC claims privilege. In the motion, Ripple stated evasive responses must be treated as a failure to disclose, answer, or respond, putting further pressure on the SEC, which has been quite evasive in regards to its deliberative process. The motion also shows how the plaintiff has evaded Ripple's inquiries. Attorneys recommend SEC provide clear answers under oath for its own sake. Attorneys Jeremy and Tim Du Hogan have recently provided an analysis on this new topic. Ripple's motion to compel answers to interrogatories. The XRP friendly stated how important is the pleading, arguing that the SEC will be writing under oath, which will have formal effect and cannot be dismissed as Hinman's 2018 speech was. In other words, these answers can be introduced into evidence, quoted at trial, used during closing statements, etc., just like the SEC was on the stand with its right hand up in the air. What we can see here in Ripple's motion to compel answers, or better answers to its interrogatories, is the SEC lawyers really struggle to lay out the entirety of its case with any specificity, said Mr. Hogan in a video. Part of the inquiry includes questions on how Ripple's sales of XRP were security. According to the motion, the present answer from the SEC follows. These public statements included, but are not limited to, promises to and discussions of Ripple's own incentives and plans to create an active and liquid trading market for XRP and to develop and foster uses for XRP. Ripple's and its affiliates' agents and executives' incentives to build an ecosystem that utilize XRP and to be a good steward of XRP. Ripple's significant holdings of XRP and its relationships to the community's financial operations Ripple's and its affiliates, agents, and executives' actual efforts to create demand for XRP, and statements touting the increase in price of XRP and its availability on digital asset trading platforms. The SEC's answer was under oath and can be used against them. This is it. This is what the SEC is going to prove in court, and so let's take a look at its answer under oath, said Mr. Hogan. The agency alleges Ripple was involved in creating a liquid market for XRP and promised to create uses for XRP. Secondly, Ripple allegedly attempted to manipulate the price of XRP, which did not have utility. So that's all for today. In the end, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. Well, that's it for today's video, guys, and make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on XRP Vault.